Welcome to a practice SAT math question. We want to determine which of the following equations define g of x in terms of f of x. So before we do this, let's see if we can describe the translation from f of x to g of x. To do this, let's focus on the vertex of each parabola. So we'll focus on this point and this point. Notice how to go from f of x to g of x. f of x has been shifted right two units and up three units. So from here, we should be able to recognize how to write g of x in terms of f of x. But before we do this, let's review some notes. First, for all of these notes, c is positive. So f of the quantity x plus c would shift f of x left c units. So for example, if we had f of the quantity x plus two, this would shift f of x left two units. If we have f of the quantity x minus c, this will shift f of x right c units. So if we have f of the quantity x minus two, this would shift f right two units. So if we go back to our example just for a moment, notice how we do have a shift right of two units, which means g of x must have f of the quantity x minus two as part of its equation, which means we can eliminate b and d because they both contain f of the quantity x plus two, which would shift f left, not right. And now for the vertical translation, if we have f of x plus c, the graph is shifted up c units. So if we had f of x plus two, or in our case, f of x plus three, this would shift the graph up three units. Versus if we had f of x minus three, this would shift f of x down three units. But again, our shift is up, therefore we would have to have our function plus three units. Therefore, looking at our choices, notice how a does have plus three on the end, so f of the quantity x minus two plus three would shift the graph right two units from the x minus two in the parentheses and up three because of the plus three on the end. So our answer is A. Notice how for C, the minus three on the end would shift the graph down three units and E, there's no vertical shift. I also want to show how we can check this on the graphing calculator. What we're going to do is type in the basic function or y equals x squared in y1. So we'll press y equals, clear out any old functions, and press x to the second. And now we're going to enter in what we think the answer is in function notation just like this, but instead of f, we'll use y1. And then we'll see if the graph matches the graph given. So to access y1, we'll press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and now we'll have in parentheses x minus two, close parenthesis, and then plus three, and this should verify that y2 will be shifted right two units and up three units from y1. To make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six, so there's y1, and there's y2. Notice how this graph does match the graph given, verifying that A is the correct answer. I hope you found this helpful.